hey what's up guys welcome to another episode of lfc stack so guys in today's video we'll learn how we can display custom chart uh, in our lightning web component so for today's video i'll be creating a polar area chart using chart.js okay so if you are not aware about polar area chart so it is kind of a donut chart with different different radius okay let me show you the output of it okay here you can see the output so this will be our polar chart and i have already created the component as you can see here so i'll be just describing the code here and how you can utilize chart.js in your lightning web component so guys chart.js basically it will provide you a library through which you can uh, create charts different different kind of chart on canvas and today we'll be working on so these are the uh, chart types available here so today we'll be working on this polar chart area so uh, as the definition says this type of chart is often useful when you want to show a comparison data similar to a pie chart but also show a scale of value for context so basically whenever you need to show the scale of value like the how large is data or how minimum is data available so in that case you may use this polar chart okay so guys to implement this chart.js actually uh, everything is available in this document so let me just explain how you can use it so first of all you need the library itself so for that you may create a static resource in your salesforce org and include the library you may get the library using this link okay no th this is not the one that might be in the installation page okay and this is a basic sample how you can create the chart okay let me move to the getting started page so in getting started page you just have to create a canvas tag on your uh, lightning web component and we cannot use the script so we'll be importing the library as a static resource then we will be loading it in the component okay and apart from it let's see what we are having here i think this is the chart.js which needs to be implemented yep here it is so you may get this and save it as a file and then upload it in a static resource okay i will share the link separately in this uh, video guys so after the installation let's go to the chart itself so this is the polar area chart and let me show you my code okay let me show the html first so guys in the html you may see i have used a basic canvas tag with manual height and width i'm i'm not using anything else because we will be generating chart from the javascript thing which will be back end part of it so i'm just using the canvas tag which was mentioned here in this documentation the getting started tag see so i'm just using the same tag here and i'm just using some custom tag like styles sldds grid and background color should be white of it okay let me move to the javascript now so guys in javascript you may see my static resource so basically i saved that uh, js.main file and then i uploaded it as a static resource in my server okay and we are using load script because we will be loading this script and apart from it we are using show toast event to display the success or maybe error message okay and guys after that uh, we need to configure the chart so to con the configuration is also available on on their site as well let me show it to you so let's say if you are creating the polar area chart so the configurations are here guys so you may use the configuration like this uh, you just have to config the type options if you need any additional option here and then you have to pass the data the data if you i mean you will be using it uh, dynamically so you just need to pass your apex data in this configuration to you know uh, make it dynamic and in this setup we are having manual data just to you know manual configuration thing so you can just simply for testing purpose you can just simply copy this data from setup and have it instead of this data okay that's what i did here 
So I'm, I, I just copied that data from setup and having it here instead of this data. And I'm not using any additional options here like the coloring theme and header footer thing. Underneath that, I have used this render callback thing and I'm just loading the scripts. And if the scripts gets loaded, then I'm using this dot template dot query selector to select my canvas. And this method was also mentioned on their website. Let me show it to you. Okay. I remember seeing it somewhere. Okay, here it is. So in uses, you can see uh, to create a chart, you may use this canvas, which <coughs> we are using right now. And in JavaScript, you may use any of the following formats. <coughs> Sorry. So I have used the first one, which will just directly get the element ID. And we are using it in LWC. So that's why we have used this query selector thing. So if we'll get the canvas, then we are setting up a chart uh, using the configuration okay so to set up the chart we have used new window dot chart and we have set set this uh, chart constant with this configuration which we are having here okay and underneath that we are having a catch block just to display an error i mean if, if you are having a wrong con configuration then definitely it will throw the error so in that case, it will just show the toast message here. Okay. So guys, that's how you may create different different charts using this chart.js. I might be having few other charts as well in my upcoming videos. And maybe, you know, we can also have a dynamic chart in the upcoming videos. But anyways, guys, you just need to modify this data here, you know, just to make it dynamic. Or maybe I would suggest you to, you know, just create a separate component for this chart and then pass this data dynamically using that separate component so you can just reuse them wherever you want. Okay. And guys, I will be having the complete code on my blog also, which is salesforcebold.com. So if you need the complete code, you may directly go to the blog and check that out. Okay. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.